Hello and welcome to a Delta Virtual Airlines training video. Today's lesson will be based on how to find and submit a flight plan on the VATSIM network. Join Delta Virtual here at www.deltavirtual.org. Alright, to start out, we will start on the deltavirtual.org website. So, what you, to get to this page, go to make sure you sign in, go to Flight Operations, and book a commercial flight. So first, we're going to select our departure airport, which will be KSLC. So we're going to be going today from Salt Lake City to Atlanta. So enter your departure airport. It does not show the boxes, the dialogue to switch through on the screen recorder. So you will have to see what is in the box on the screen, just without the without the bubbles. And our arrival airport will be KATL Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. Click on the Find Flights button and it'll pull up all the available flights that you need to have to go to Salt, from Salt Lake to Atlanta. Let's see which one will work best for us today. So it looks like we have Delta 1358, Delta 1562, Delta 347, Delta 525, Delta 593, and Delta 859 and Delta 92. But we're going to take the Boeing 767-300 um, so we're going to go ahead and select Delta 593. Let's go ahead and bid on this flight. And to view that actual flight, let's go to View Open Bids. Delta 593, Salt Lake to Atlanta, Boeing 767-300, November 194, Delta November. Departure time is 8.30 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. And arrival time is 12 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's about 1,300 nautical miles to uh, from Salt Lake to Atlanta. You can you can print a boarding pass. Um, you can file the plan to VATSIM, which will be very helpful in the near future as we go further on this video. You can view a fuel planner, pilot brief, or you can file the PIREP for this flight after you've completed it. To file a PIREP, this will be in another video uploaded very soon to the Delta. Um, Delta Virtual Training YouTube channel. But for now, we're going to go to Pilot Brief. To Pilot Brief, we can see this is all of our information. We can view the weather, the METAR, and um, the winds, uh, cloud conditions, and everything at Salt Lake and Atlanta. We can also see the distance, the aircraft, and other information. We can see the charts and the charts for Atlanta as well. What we're going to do, we're going to go to click on File This Plan to VATSIM. And then what we're going to do now, that'll take us to the file, that's in pre-file page. Here you'll enter all of your information, such as your call sign, your specific, uh, special equipment, airspeed, departure point, departure time, cruising altitude, route of flight, destination, um, time and route, um, your voice capabilities, remarks, fuel on board, alternate airport, pilot's name, and home base. So our, our call sign will be, as shown on Delta's um, page, uh, it'll be Delta uh, 593. Delta 593 will be in the Boeing 767-300. We'll go at about uh, 490 knots here, our ground speed. Um, departure point will be K. SLC. We're going to part around 200 Zulu. Cruising altitude will be about flight level 360. For those who don't know, flight levels, flight level is is rated as for flight level is so 10,000 feet is flight level 100, flight level 110 is 11,000 feet, and so on. So flight level 360 is 36,000 feet. So for the route of flight. We're going to have to go get that separately. So if you're out the virtual airlines, we're going to click on Generate SIM Brief. And it'll pull up a little SIM Brief tab here. Which will give us all of our information on how this is going to roll out. Alrighty. So this is our flight plan. This is our METAR. This is our alternate airport arrival time, departure time and other information. This is our route, our dis aircraft description, 
see so make sure all this information is correct um, make sure our aircraft is listed correctly 767300ER that's our registration and then scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page to make sure we have all of our flight charts and you can see our flight plan right in this little box right here alrighty if I can find it I haven't used some wreath for a little while alright so here's our route we have a 4 e talk direct to Kibber, direct to JNC, direct to Wienel, direct to Memphis, and then direct to the, then right to the Clot 1. I'm going to click um, Copy, and we're going to paste this to the Vetsim free file. Paste. Destination will be KATL. We're going to be in the air for about 3 hours and 35 minutes. Our full voice, we're going to be flown full voice. Receive will be, there are different voice capabilities on VATSIM. This is the full voice. So, the full voice will mean that the ATC will contact you via voice and you will respond via voice back. Receive only means the ATC will talk to you with voice and you will respond with text. Text means ATC will talk to you with text and you will respond with text. But, to make it more realistic for us, we'll be using full voice. Remarks, we're going to put www.deltavirtual.org. Make sure that's correct. Yep. Fuel on board will be about 4 hours and 15 minutes. Alternate airport will be KBNA as listed in the OFP. Right here. KBNA and this is the METAR for KBNA. All right, and that is the we're gonna enter our pilot's name, which is my name, which will be Britton Heaps, and we'll be in the our aircraft is based in Salt Lake City. So we can click on the file flight plan button, and the flight plan was filed to VATSIM. You can go ahead and connect to VATSIM and say good afternoon, Delta 593 requested an IFR clearance to Atlanta, and they'll have all of your information already on file. This is this concludes the end of the training video on how to schedule a flight and to VATSIM and to bid on a flight using the Delta Virtuals website booking system. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us and contact us using the click on corporate um, about us or go to contact the tab in the other button. Please enter your name and information, email address, subject message and say that you have a question on training and you will get to me and the head CFI here at Delta Virtual. I thank you for watching this video and this has been a video on how to find and submit a flight plan using Delta Virtual's website system. Join Delta Virtual here at deltavirtual.org and thanks for watching. Safe skies and always remember to fly Delta Virtual. Thank